getting the steering wheel controls to work on uh, one of these uh, Android head units here. I got on eBay. It's like 140 bucks or something. So I originally set it up. Everything was plug and play right in the back. Pretty self-explanatory. Only thing you don't use is this one. Comes with a bunch of extra harnesses for USB ports and whatnot. Um, one of these that went out to a USB port needed to be used um, in order for Apple CarPlay to work. So I just ran that right out the bottom there. And so issue I had was I couldn't get the steering wheel controls to work and it ended up being a really easy solution. I was thinking that I needed to put uh, the key one or key two wires into the main harness. Not true. All it was was there's another connector that's easy to miss that's on the main harness that goes right in the end here. It's got this green and purple wire. <laughs> that's all it took. Now you can see up, down, that's it. Easy. This thing's great. I'm going to get it all squared away and we're going to see how it, work, bleh, how it looks and how it works. And here's the unit all set up. It's super clean, I have to say. For $140, it's pretty sweet. It takes a second, but there it goes. The steering wheel controls, volume up, down work. Thank God, because I don't like these capacitive touch buttons. Um, but it's pretty nice. Everything works. Uh, it doesn't look like I'll need to use steering wheel learn after all. A very responsive screen sweet clean look for the price you can't beat it it does have apple carplay um yeah so if you guys have any questions about setting this thing up or about it in general let me know in the comments because uh highly recommended so far we'll see how uh it does over the long run